Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the last two part of question number eight. Again, you have to solve this using this identity. So, first of all, we have to solve this, and this is in this form. So we have to convert first of all this into this. So again, these two numbers are close to hundred. So we can consider x as hundred. So this will be. Hundred plus three, and this will be hundred minus two. So here the x will become hundred. This is hundred. R a will become three. So this is x plus a, and R b will become minus two because this is x plus b, and this is x minus two. So R b will become minus two. So because this is equal to this. So this can be expanded as x square. So R x is hundred. So this will be x square plus a plus b. So R b is minus two. This bracket is closed into x, which is hundred plus a into b. Solving this, we know that hundred square is ten thousand, and plus minus is minus. Into hundred and three into two is six with negative sign. Further solving this, three minus two is one. So this will become hundred and this will become minus six. So solving this, this plus number and this plus number can be added. So this will become zero zero one zero one and this will be minus six. Further solving this, so 10 minus 6 is 4. Here it will be 9. Here it will be 0, and this will become 0 and 1. So 10094 should be the answer. Similarly, if I have to solve this, I first of all I have to convert this into this form. So instead of writing this as 9 plus 0.7 and 9 plus 0.8. Is better to write this nine ten minus point three, and this is ten minus point two, because solving the number having zeros is easy. So here our x becomes ten, which is this. Our a becomes minus point three, and our b becomes minus point two. So this is x plus a, and this is x. Plus b, where a and b are minus three and minus two. So solving this, this should be equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b. So ten square is hundred, and this is minus. And again, this is this will become minus. So minus minus is plus. So three plus two is five. So this will become minus point five into ten. And this is minus minus when multiplied will become plus. And three into two is six. And here are two digits after the decimal. So this will become point zero six. So this is hundred. And if I replace this with a ten, and ten can be multiplied, uh, can be cancelled with ten, and this will become minus five, and this will become point six. So this will, this two numbers can be added because this is a positive number, and again this is a positive number. So this will become hundred point zero six, and this is minus five. So solving this. This will become ninety-five point six. So this is point zero zero, and subtracting this, this will give ninety-five point zero six.